The best roguelike games have addictive gameplay that keeps players coming back for more, maintaining their appeal for years after release. Roguelike games have become so popular that a new, promising, and often challenging game now appears almost every week. You can choose from a wide variety of high-quality roguelike games, so I make it simple for you to discover your new favorite. The newest roguelike on our list is Cult of the Lamb, which is equally charming and evil. As you fight your way through a series of dungeons, assume the position of a cute cult leader to defeat the forces that forced you into this undead world. Cult of the Lamb is heavily RNG-based, where every room, reward, and weapon is randomly generated each time you pass through. Cult of the Lamb is also a management sim, which adds a novel spin to the roguelike genre. Naturally, in addition to fighting demons, you have to ensure the smooth operation of your cult. You will also have to recruit new members and make them happy and loyal. A turn-based roguelike game called Dungeons of Aether has elements of some of the most well-known dungeon crawler games ever made. Dan Fornis has created a modest game that promises players a classic arcade experience. It is set in the Aether universe. The game features procedurally generated dungeons, adding a unique dynamic to repeated playthroughs. Four playable protagonists, each with special skills and advantages, will be available to gamers. Despite its humble origins, the game is highly anticipated and should release in 2023. Backpack Hero, now available on Steam Early Access, puts a unique inventory management spin on the roguelike genre. Play as an animal, collect items in your backpack, and use them against your worst enemies. As you move through randomly generated dungeons, you must organize your backpack and determine the best build for defeating opponents. The game features a variety of unusual powerful items with special effects, branching paths to explore, and unexpected challenges to solve. One of the best roguelike adventures ever, which in French is Noida, and this is a very appropriate name to describe this charming roguelike game. What makes this roguelite unique? Incredibly, every pixel is literally simulated. In other words, there are no restrictions on how you can change or destroy the entire game environment. Play as a witch who can cast spells. Explore the enchanting atmosphere, destroy obstacles, fight enemies like Iku Terso and Hisi, and wreak havoc. But be careful, you can die at any time, which permanently ends the game in a procedurally generated world. The Binding of Isaac is punishing and downright horrifying. It continues to be a must-play for roguelike fans and boasts some of the best game design in the history of video games. The game is jam-packed with oddball goodies and an infinite supply of disgusting bosses. It plays with religious themes, and the plot is based on the fairy tale of the same name. Isaac is a tortured, tragic soul who lives in a nightmare world where he is frequently outgunned and outnumbered. The game has been in high demand for many years now as the developer is constantly adding new versions and new content. The main incentive to play is the enormous variety on offer. No two playthroughs are the same because Isaac immediately gains new abilities and equips fresh cosmetic items. Whichever version you decide to buy, the binding of Isaac is well worth your time due to its excellent value for money and the obscenely high praise it has received from critics and fans alike. Supergent's latest casts you as Zagreus, son of Hades and Prince of the Underworld, as he does everything in his power to escape from Hell itself. This isometric hack and slash game has a lot of opponents and fierce battles. Hades highlights the narrative potential of the genre's cyclical nature, combining its procedural runs with an engaging plot and likable cast of characters. Each failed attempt results in you being resurrected in your home, where your old friends and relatives are looking forward to one last conversation with you. Death is less depressing when you get to know them a little better after each run, and while you're in the field, you'll have the opportunity to interact with your Olympian relatives and get experimental upgrades from them. These bickering deities are the real stars of the show, and their fully voiced dialogue and wonderful artwork help bring them to life. It's unquestionably one of the best PC story games, and it's also a really good roguelike. One of the top roguelike fantasy games, Chaos Trials are a 10-level randomly generated dungeon that will test you at every turn. Take control of a battle-tested wizard and complete the challenge. You'll need to use every spell in your spellbook to attack, defend, and get through the obstacles. Along the way, gather treasure and money to unlock new spells and items that will improve your endurance and strength. You must defeat four elemental bosses to become the Wizard of Legend. 
Vampire Survivors is a roguelike shooter with survival elements and a vintage 2D pixel graphics aesthetic. The gameplay focuses on fighting various monsters using one of the many supernatural characters, relics, and weapons. Players who live longer will accumulate more resources that they can use to unlock new characters and equipment for their next adventure. Despite its rather simple premise, Vampire Survivors does a great job at keeping you engaged with meaningful unlocks and action-packed gameplay. It's hard to imagine how anyone can resist Dead Cell's fast-paced, blood-filled, hack-and-slash action. You escape your prison cell and tear your way through the large castle, from the dungeons below to the towers above, as an immortal research experiment. Between runs, you can carry certain upgrades, thereby feeling constant progress. Returning to the beginning after a hard boss battle is not as annoying as in other roguelike games. It makes starting a new run even more tempting. Dead Cells still kicks you regularly, hinting that this is no walk in the park. Nevertheless, the game becomes less intimidating when you don't have the fear of losing everything. Spelunky is one of the few games with such a painstaking design. Every enemy, item, and mechanism has a specific function and must be handled accordingly. With its Indiana Jones homages and peppy retro soundtrack, it might appear adorable, but few people actually survive. The game has five primary levels, each with its own unique assortment of foes, from UFO-filled ice tunnels to genuine hell itself. To avoid dying over and over again in Spelunky, first learn the rules. Cannibal plants are able to kill you in one shot, and fall damage is increased. Throw rocks at traps to activate them. Buy new weapons in the store and save the girl to get your health back. Co-op play in Spelunky is also available. It's just as unsettling and likely to be the cause of many broken friendships. Slay the Spire is more frequently related to the online CTG genre, so you might be surprised to see it on a list of the top roguelike games. Slay the Spire is a mix of a CCG and roguelike that packs all the fun from both genres, so it's not a mistake. In Slay the Spire, you take on the role of a fearless adventurer tasked with climbing a tower that seems to stand forever and destroying all enemies on each floor. Each floor of the spire features procedurally generated layouts with challenging enemies scattered across them. You can keep climbing if you fight these enemies with your cards and your insane skills. When you lose, everything starts over. Inscription is a superb roguelike deck builder with rewarding growth and an unnerving atmosphere. It is one of the biggest indie surprises of 2021. It also happens to be the latest title from Daniel Mullins, creator of Pony Island and the Hex, and explores similar themes of horror. You are a prisoner forced to play a sadistic card game against an insane host who has multiple personalities completely hidden in darkness. The gameplay is based on card fights in which animals are used as weapons. You have to solve puzzles and quests to open new cards. Don't Starve is a gothic horror that takes great pleasure in making you feel anxious and uncomfortable. It is essentially an isometric rug-like survival game in which your goal is to survive in a hostile environment. Setting out to explore your surroundings is both a dangerous and fascinating idea because developer Clay never seems to run out of fresh and often nasty surprises. Despite the cruelty of this world, you will be called again and again to try to unravel the complex systems and find out what lies beyond the world. In Faster Than Light, players get a fully upgradable starship with real-time control systems. Each light jump is a gamble since you never know if it will result in an ally supporting you or space pirates boarding your ship. It gives the impression that you are a real starship commander because you have complete control over the upgrades, strategy, and weapons of your ship. There are also a ton of mods available, created by an actively involved community, that offer everything from ship skins to entirely new narrative experiences. You won't be able to jump back in quickly enough because every death in Faster Than Light serves as a lesson. In Moonlighter, an elegant roguelite role-playing game, you play as Will, a merchant hero. Will inherits the Moonlighter, his family's shop, giving him the opportunity to pursue his aspirations of being a hero. Five ancient dungeons are the focus of the game's exploration. You engage in combat with enemies, avoid traps, hunt for treasure, and attempt to return to your shop with as much loot as you can. In the dungeon, you'll find broken weapons, ancient tums, and monster drops. All of this will be worth something in Moonlighter. In the daytime, you can open your shop and start learning about the economy. You must increase the amount of your gold without upsetting patrons with exorbitant prices. Dungeon creatures will be more dangerous at night, but the rewards will be greater. In the game, there are three classes of armor and five different types of weapons, each of which can be customized with various branching enchantments. Can you make it to the end of the dungeon to face an epic challenge and an ancient creature? 
If you know of other roguelike games, feel free to leave any comments here. If you liked this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel.